Mr. President, just a few minutes ago, uh, the largest rocket uh, since the moon program, the Saturn V, launched from the Kennedy Space Center. People across the world saw it on TV as well as over the internet. Thousands of people lined the beaches at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, perhaps even more impressively, as this rocket uh, with three Falcon 9 strapped together, 27 engines, taking a, 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 a payload uh, for its first test flight. It was so successful that the two side Falcon 9s with the center core of the Falcon 9, that the two side Falcon 9s, we watched in amazement as they returned to Earth a hundred yards apart on two landing zones at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. At liftoff, the Falcon Heavy generates five million pounds of thrust. It's twice as powerful that we have as any other rocket currently flying. And especially with the ability to land and reuse the boosters, it promises to be a very affordable way to get to space. The test launch of the Falcon Heavy is a spectacular demonstration of the comeback of Florida's Space Coast and of the U.S. commercial launch sector, which is succeeding in a big way. Last year, we tried, we tied the all-time record for the number of U.S. commercial launches. That's good news for the civil space program. It's good news for national security. It's good news for employment in the U.S., and it's great news for jobs and the economy. Mr. President, I yield.